Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today we're going to talk about rewiring Propellerhead's Reason into Personas' Studio One digital audio workstation. This is real easy to do, so let's jump right into it. A couple things I need to mention going into this. First off, if you do not have Studio One Pro and you are using Studio One Artist, you are not going to have access to the rewire capabilities in Studio One. You need to have Studio One Pro in order to get that. Second thing is that uh, at the time of making this video, there are a number of rewire capable applications and devices which are 32-bit only. And so in that case, you're probably going to want to make use of Studio One 32-bit rather than 64-bit in order to be able to get access to rewire in Studio One. That said, as long as you can meet those requirements, we are all set to go ahead and start rewiring. So, first thing that I am going to do is here in my empty uh, song, which I've created in Studio One, I'm going to click on Browse to open the browser. I'm going to make sure that I have Instruments selected, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Category. Here, with the Rewire folder, I'm going to open it up by clicking on it, and I've got all the rewire-capable devices and applications on my system. Here's Reason. I'm going to go ahead and click it, drag it, drop it into Studio One. Now the Reason dialog box is going to open up. You notice I have the Rewire icon right here. I have the option for Allow Tempo Signature Changes. I'll leave that checked. That depends on the production you're working on. And I have two options, Open Application, Close Application. If I click on Open Application, Reason is going to open up. It's going to take just a moment. You need to make sure that you open Studio One before you open Reason. Do not open Reason before opening Studio One because if you do that, they're not going to rewire properly. So that said, now Reason is going to open up. And now, as long as I have my output set properly in Studio One, I can hit play in Reason and it's going to start playing with Studio One. So you can see right there, Reason is connected up to Studio One. When I start playing in Studio One, Reason starts playing along with it. So this means that I can compose in Reason and I can then make use of Reason inside of Studio One. So that is really useful. Now I have a couple other things that I can take control of here from Studio One. Uh, one of these is the instrument output. If you take a look at these uh, two options right here on this rewire channel, I have instrument output and I have instrument input. Now instrument input is where I can select reason. I also have all inputs here, but this is where I can get a little more in depth with the input that I am sending into Studio One. On the instrument output here, if I click on this pull down, I have the option for reason. If I click that, I get a separate pop out box right here. This is the instrument channel. If I click on this, this is where I can select from the currently open devices in my Reason rack. This means that if I select one of these options, I can take control of this instrument using my MIDI controller going out and into uh, Reason. And that's because when I am rewiring, one application is the host and another is the slave. If Reason is slaved to Studio One, Reason is not going to be able to take MIDI input. So if I need to do MIDI input into Reason, I need to select which of these instruments I want to take control of, and then I can send my MIDI out from Studio One and back into Reason. So you can see how quick and easy this is. Again, if I have another application or instrument that I would like to rewire into Studio One, all I have to do is click and drag and drop it onto uh, my Studio One arrangement, and I'll be all set to begin using Rewire with that application in Studio One. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. Please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com, and you can find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. Until next time, thanks for watching, happy music making, and take care.